In this video, we will talk about what is monopsony, what are the characteristics of monopsony, how monopsony is different from monopoly, what are the examples of monopsony, what is monopsony. Monopsony is a case in which there is only one buyer in the market. There can be many sellers, but there is only one buyer. In case of monopoly, there are many buyers, but there is only one seller. What are the features of monopsony? One. This is a single buyer. In a monopsonistic market, there is only one buyer in the market. That buyer is dominating the demand for the product or service. However, there can be many sellers in the monopsonistic market. But these sellers have very limited option to sell. So they can only sell to a single buyer. Monopsonist has a significant market power. How? They can influence the price. They can dominate the market. Since monopsonist knows that he is the only buyer, he can influence the price. He will say, no, I'm not going to give you at the higher price. I'll give you the lower price. In a way, you can say that monopsonist is the one who is setting the price. He can also set the price like a monopolist. He has the power to set the price. This is very different from the case of a monopoly where there is a monopolist who is setting the price, but he is the only seller in the market. And this is also very different from perfect competition in which there are many buyers and sellers and they do not have individually any power over the price. There are different examples of uh, monopsonistic markets. What are these examples? We'll talk about three examples. One, agricultural markets. How do very large business firms, very large agribusiness firms are going to function in the agricultural markets? They know that they are the main buyers of the agricultural products. And there are very large number of small farmers. These small farmers do not have anywhere else to go. They will have to give or they will have to supply to one large retail business firm or one large agricultural business firm. Another example could be government procurement. Government can also procure goods and services from many small farms or many small producers. When there is only one buyer of the product, Say, for example, government in this case, government can set the price, right? And this is an example of a monopsonistic market. This particularly happens in case of uh, uh, military equipments. So who is going to buy military equipments? Mainly government. So government is a single seller. So government is a single buyer. And there are many firms who are supplying these military equipment. And they have only one point where they can sell government. So government is acting as a monopsony there. Labor market in certain industries. For example, let's take an example of a small town. And in that small town, there is one firm, there is one plant. And mainly everyone in that town, in that industrial town, let's say, everyone is employed in that single plant only. If they are employed on in that single plant only, then they can sell their labor services only to this plant. They can't sell it to anyone else. So this plant, this industrial plant can work as a monopsonist. People who are selling their labor services are many sellers and they cannot influence the price. They are selling their services and plant is buying their services. So plant is acting as a monopsonist. There are a few differences between monopoly and monopsony. One of the difference could be in terms of number of participants. In case of monopoly, there is only one seller, but there are many buyers. In case of monopsony, there is one buyer, but there are many sellers. Second is that both monopoly and monopsony can, can have significant market power. How? Monopolist knows that he is the single seller, so he can also set the price. Buyers do not have many options from where to buy. So they will be going only to a one monopolist. He's a single seller. In case of monopsony, firm knows that he is a, he is a single buyer of the services or of the product. So sellers know they have only one point of sale. What is that? To a monopsonist. So monopsonist can also influence the price. Another difference could be in terms of who is controlling. In case of monopoly, single seller is controlling the market. In case of monopsony, single buyer is controlling the market. Then what about the competition? In case of monopoly, there is no competition between the sellers because there are no different sellers. There is only one seller. There is no competition. Consumers do not have alternative sources to buy. They can only buy from one person. In case of monopsony, sellers have limited alternatives to sell. They are competing among themselves to sell to a single buyer. 
example of a monopoly could be say for example there is a firm who is holding a patent and that patent is going to disallow any other firm to enter into the production of a similar good or a service so that firm is acting as a monopoly why in case of a monopsony the example could be government agency that government agency is buying the good or a service from many sellers monopoly can influence the price how monopoly is going to set the higher prices than the case if there is a perfect competition because monopolist knows that buyers cannot buy from any other alternative so typically the price is going to be higher in case of monopoly while in case of monopsony the price is going to be typically lower why because if there is one buyer he has all the control so he can say no i'm not giving you this much price i'll be giving you lesser price i hope this video was useful to you thank you for that